This protocol describes the preparation and analysis of a unique biosensor that has been designed to detect the chemical components of gunshot residue. The use of biosensors for forensic applications is unique. It represents a low-cost, simple-to-use alternative to the highly specialized instrumentation typically used in forensic laboratories. The synthetic biology methods described can be used for any system that uses standard synthetic biology parts. The chemical analysis described is applicable to any biosensor that expresses red fluorescent protein. Demonstrating the procedure will be Andrea Soles and L. Richardson, undergraduate students at Longwood University. To begin this procedure, add 10 microliters of the previously isolated J160 plasmid DNA to a microcentrifuge tube, add 8 microliters of water, and 1 microliter of each of the EcoRI and NHEL enzymes pre-mixed with 1 microliter of buffer. For the promoter DNA, Add 10 microliters of annealed promoter DNA sequences to a fresh microcentrifuge tube. Add 8 microliters of water and 1 microliter of each of the EcoRI and NHEL enzymes pre-mixed with 1 microliter of buffer. Using a pipette set to 10 microliters, gently pipette the samples up and down to mix. Incubate the samples at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Then. Heat and activate the enzymes at 80 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Store the digested DNA in a freezer until ready to proceed. First, use the plasmid and promoter DNA that were previously digested to set up the reaction in a...